Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, we have the VR guide. Um, I, I made it. And I'm gonna go in and we're gonna talk about our abilities, so let's go. Starting with Fiona's basic attack. Um, it's a swing. Well, she swings both her daggers, right? Um, she does 12 damage, uh, does no knockback, with 12.5 ultimate charge per hit. And, um, it costs 10 energy to cast, so it's per swing. Um, the basic attack is... Um, it's okay. Um, by itself, it's kind of meh, but as it's combined with our other abilities, uh, it gets very powerful. Fiona's special is the dagger that she throws. The dagger will, will fly um, forward, as you can see, and it'll stick to the first like surface it hits. So I can stick it to the platforms, below, or above. Um, I could throw it into the training dummy, and if, well, let's say the training dummy was a player and he was moving around, the dagger would move with him. Um, once again, by itself, it's a pretty, um, it's a okay ability. It only does 5 damage, it doesn't do any knockback. Uh, it gives 12.5 ultimate charge per hit, which is very nice, so you, you can kind of, like, use it to throw and constantly hit them with it to get ult charge. Oh, it also costs, um, uh, 20 energy to cast per ult well, cast. <laughs> Fiona's unique is a spin that does, um, damage, so she spins, um, and that's pretty much it. And it does a little bit of knockback. Um, 7 damage, 12.5 ultimate charge, again, and then it costs 20 energy to cast. Also, side note about the, um, her E, if there's a dagger that's on the field like that, you can teleport to it if you press E. So you'll, you'll, you'll spin at the location of the dagger instead. Um, the teleport has a range, so if I place my dagger all the way over there, like, I can't teleport to it. Okay? So, obviously, if I'm, like, way out here, like, trying to recover, so let me go, like, go out here and I try spinning. Well, that was a bad example, but, <laughs> you know, like, y if you knock Fiora out of her range and she doesn't have any energy, well, she, if she only has enough energy to, like, teleport and save herself and she's out of range, then, um, it won't, like, she won't be able to recover, recover for free. Although, you will, you still will have Fiora's that get knocked back and they instantly teleport using this combo. This combo is also used to deal damage, so you'll see Fiora's all the time, like, spam the, their basic attack, E, like, they, like, they, they spam their basic attack, or Q, and her E, and, um, in, like, combination to try to, um, get, get damage on you and knock you off. Let me knock this chicken cut me off to reset him. Fiona's ultimate is a sphere that does damage and knocks back um, enemies nearby Fiona. So the ult does 25 damage and a ton of knockback. So well, the training dummy's at zero, so it doesn't really do that much. But you can see how if they're at like 100, 200, 300, how that would be devastating. So it does a good bit of knockback. Um, the ultimate is also a really good example of... Um, of knockback canceling. So, if I if I jump and ult, right? You see how he gets spiked down really, really hard? You want to try to do that to players. So, you want to ult people that are like next to you like this, or like um, below you. You don't really want to ult people that are above you. If, um, because if they're above you, you'll knock them up, and it's really hard to kill someone if, by hitting the sky. So you want to spike them down or um, throw them to the side. I recommend. I always recommend them um, spiking them um, downwards. That's just your best way of killing, like all the time, no matter what character you're playing. One final note about the R is that while you're casting it, you're completely immune to knockback. So if you get knocked back and then you cast the ultimate, then it won't really do anything. You'll still like you'll do your ult animation, but then the knockback will continue. If it's if if it works how it's supposed to, it's very glitchy. So sometimes it does cancel the knockback, but most of the times it it continues the knockback. But let's say there's a Don ult coming for you, right? And it's like it's a projectile, so it's coming towards you, and you're at like a thousand damage. So you're like, I need you can't dodge, so you're gonna get hit by it. If you ult at well before it hits you, and then it hits you as you're ulting. 
it will completely negate the knockback. It'll do the damage to you, but the knockback's completely absorbed, which is really interesting. <laughs> so you can try to use that to your advantage when playing. Now, moving on to your pros and cons. Starting with your pros, Fiona is really good at getting kills. She's a very assassin type character, so she has high mobility. You can't really run away from her. And she just runs you down. She gets your health super low. She uses her um, unique special or specially unique combo and just on, on just demolishes you. She stacks damage on you very quickly. Ult you, you're gone. And the better Fiona's or even they can do this even faster they start weaving in her basic attacks into her um special unique combo to get her ultimate even faster overall just a really good character for getting kills fiona also has a ton of mobility recovery and just honestly really hard to kill her unique or blah, her special unique teleport combo has this unique property where it like cancels knockback for some reason i don't know if this is like a matter of like ping or like a bug or if that's how it's supposed to be but it has this thing where the people can just constantly spam teleport at you and they're doing damage to you and there's just you can't knock them back and even if you do knock them back they immediately just teleport back to their location right so the teleport has its range but people will usually just teleport before they exit the range it's it's honestly disgusting how safe fiona is and how hard she is to kill there's very few characters like charlamagne for example who can directly counter this by bull freezing her at least in charlamagne's case charlamagne could just freeze her and there's not much fiona can really do other than maybe black block it but this is something that you have to watch out for if you're looking to counter her fiona is really good in free for alls and duels so as she's really safe with her mobility and recovery and really good at getting kills these two's these two pros kind of combine into her being really good in free for alls and duels there's not really a situation that doesn't really fit F fiona in free for all she's very safe she doesn't really have to worry about getting focused because she can always run away even if she um doesn't want to run away her constant knockback canceling using her um especially unique combo uh makes her super safe same thing in duels you can zone people using your um your special or all in them it's it's honestly she's just a really flexible character when it comes to that just like when it comes to her kit overall, which makes her really good in free for all and duels. Fiona also has a very high skill cap. There's so many tricks that you can do on this character, and it's actually insane how much you can learn. Now, moving on to her cons. Her ult sometimes doesn't work, but it's very rare for this to happen. Sometimes people, when people are inside your ult, they'll take the damage from it, but they won't receive the knockback. And while you're spinning in your ult, you're like completely free to hit. So people can hit you, get their ultimate charge, and then they can, after you exit your ult, they can proceed to ult you. Um, it's just a bug that's honestly, it, it, it rarely happens, but you should be aware of it. At low damage, you'll want to use a mix of your basic attack your special and unique to stack up damage and ult charge. A higher damage is spamming your E is the way to go because it stunlocks the other person. You usually want to spam your E around 100%. At this percent, they'll usually, or at this damage, they'll usually be stunlocked. And there's not much they can really do. Like, they're literally completely, like, useless and they won't be able to move at all. Make sure to always use your special and unique combo to recover and engage and pretty much do everything with fiona cancels a lot of knockback just from teleporting constantly and only a few characters can really do something about it right before you use your ultimate always remember to jump and spike the enemy down you really want to take advantage of using the knockback control 
when using Fiona's unique, you'll notice that when spinning, if someone's on the outside part of your spin, like the very edge, they'll be knocked directly backwards. But if someone's on right on top of you, or sort of like close to your character model, um, they'll be knocked up in a way. So you want to keep this in mind for when you're trying to knock someone off. You want them, it's, it's kind of like a sweet spot and a sour spot. You want them at the very edge of the spin, so they get knocked directly backwards. Lastly, people will always expect you to teleport to your knife once you throw it. You can throw it, but not teleport to it to buy yourself some time and recover energy. You can also use this time to plan or do a mind game with it and then you throw another knife. I know I said lastly, but there's one last thing that I want to mention in, um, in duels. You'll have situations where, let's say you're going against a Don, for example, right? You'll have situations where Don's running towards you because he needs to get close to deal damage to you, right? You can um, start running away from him, and then you can start throwing your um, special at him. And your special does damage, and it's a range attack, so you, you can just constantly spam it from a distance. And kind of zone the player out. You constantly deal damage to them, and it's really hard for them to catch you because you're constant teleporting. So you can throw a bunch of knives at them to teleport behind them and kind of like rinse and repeat until they're at high damage. Or at around like 100%. Then you can start doing your special unique combo and stun locking them. It's a very underrated strategy that a lot of Fiona players don't really take advantage of just because well, the knife is relatively small. Plus, um, teleporting is just way more fun to do, but it's for winning, it's a really good strategy that no Fiona players do for some reason. And yeah, thank you for watching my Fiona guide. You guys have been so supportive lately, and I really do appreciate all the love and comments and everything. Um, I, no promises, but I'm going to try to get the guides out faster. Um, I found, well, as you see, saw, but in the pros and cons section, I did the like text a bit differently. Doing it that way is way faster, and that should allow me to edit and be a little bit quicker. So let me know if you guys like it. I can go back to the old one if you guys want, but it will take, it does take a really long time to get all that set up and everything. Or I could do it this way and it'll be faster. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think. I read and respond to all the comments and I really appreciate them. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.